What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into something. Mumford and Sons improvise miserable songs. This could actually get kind of exciting. Who knows what they're going to do with it? I love when people do a little something crazy, maybe. I love when people just kind of do some improvisation. I used to be some, I used to like improv comedy a really lot. Let's see which songs they pick. Let's see all of that. It's coming at us from your room. I definitely appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you get up and show BBC One Radio. BBC Radio One, some love. Let's see what we got. Let's go. Could we have an impromptu sort of Bleak Mornings jingle, please? Bleak Mornings with Greg James. <laughs> Okay, we've got a load of listeners with their bleak morning stories. Can you give us a sort of bleak sounding bit of atmosphere, please? Something. Yeah, nice. Okay, we've got some people lined up on the phones. And first of all, on this morning's bleak morning with Mumford and Sons, sponsored by Mumford and Sons, (laughs) we have Louise in Manchester. Louise! Hello! Louise, give us your bleak morning story, please. I fell off the toilet. Oh, <laughs> Louise. Can I ask, i got to ask the question, how how did you fall off the toilet? Well, I had my first EP session, woke up, had jelly legs, couldn't get up, <laughs> fell on the bathroom floor, trousers around my ankles. Mm. It was a bleak morning. Oh, Louise. So um, we're going to try and, and, and write that wrong. So Mumford and Sons, in your own time, just give us a, give us a little blast of something. It's your own mistake for trying to do personal training Cause now you're on the floor And I don't want to imagine it that much more But Louise, get up now <laughs> Louise, get up now Oh, Jesus oh, Christ <laughs> I need a towel. Tell myself off. <laughs> I love for me mistakes. How are you feeling, Louise? I'm a bit bewildered. I can't believe Mumford and Sons are singing a song better... about me on the bathroom floor. Yeah, Louise, it's hard because your, your name does rhyme with peas. So I was really trying to avoid it. It's all I could think of. <laughs> Louise, I hope oh it's brightened your day a bit. It has, definitely. Good luck for the future. <laughs> Try to stay off the bathroom floor. Ted, after every call, we need you to do the catchphrase. This is a brilliant new catchphrase, and I'm going to steal it for the show forever. (laughs) All right, Caroline, let's be serious, be serious, be serious. Caroline, uh, good morning. Tell us your bleak morning, please. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. Hi. Um, I woke up this morning, and I found mice nesting in my car. (gasps) Were they there in the footwells? Did Did you see them? How did you know? When I turned on the engine, it smelled of warmed up mice poo. It smelled like warmed up mice poo. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, so you just you, yeah, good question for Marcus. Yeah, is it were there actual mice or was it just the the, the remains of their dinner? Um, the remains of their dinner and um, their nest. So I think this one might have to go out for all the homeless mice as well because they've lost their accommodation. Oh, have you evicted them? I evicted them. I, I got out to Hoover this morning, Greg. Mm. Oh, my mum evicted two yesterday. <laughs> Is that a From thing that people do? You're hoovering the engine? <laughs> Via <laughs> trap. <Yeah. laughs> Okay, this, well, this is a very bizarre we'll morning. Start a new business, oh, yeah. Ubering engines. <laughs> Let's all need their engine, Ubering. Uh, yeah, sure. There we go, pop the bonnet. <laughs> what? Is that a thing now? Okay, well... It's, it's, well you know what, you don't want them nibbling on the wiring, do you? No, 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 exactly. no you don't. And in fact, the guy down the garage is saying, you're going to have to take this pretty seriously, Caroline, because they can nibble on the wiring. So who right. knew you could kind of... 
bed and breakfast from mice from your car bonnet. Well, we need to write this wrong. We need to try and cheer you up. We need to write a sad song for the mice. It's uh, it's yeah, quite a task, this, nice. Mumford and Sons. <laughs> if, you, if you've got it in you, then um, whenever you're ready, just... We're writing a little bit of everything. Send to Caroline, please. I used to love mice I considered them harmless They were so cuddly and nice But now I find myself carless <laughs> It looks like they've been everywhere But now they're nowhere Just the grisly remnants Of these old Tenants. The mice have been everywhere. I know. I'll get the Hoover. Oh, Caroline. You're so much better than that. Use a leaf blower. <laughs> Do not use a leaf blower. And it's all going to be all right. Good night. Well, <laughs> it's an extraordinary morning we're having. Isn't it have you ever tried to rhyme anything with Hoover? It's really hard. Thank you so much, Caroline, for being on Bleak Mornings today. Oh, thank you. That's really cheered me up. Thank you, Mountford and Sons. That was Cheers, brilliant. Caroline. It's all right. Good luck Bye. for the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we go to Megan in London. Hi, Megan. You're on with Mumford and Sons. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hi, Megan. Hi. You say you Everything sound traumatised. Right. Wow, well, give us the story, right, Megan. Sound good, Megan. It's a bleak morning. Uh, it's a bleak yeah. morning. Okay. Tell us about it. I have lost all my tennis balls. <gasps> oh, no. How did it happen? Tell me about it. Well, I didn't realise the zip on my bag came open, and as I was walking down the hill to work, they all rolled out. Oh, no. And what, and what well, happened to them all? I managed to retrieve two. Out of how many? Six. <gasps> It's a bad ratio. It's a very bad ratio. Okay, well, what we need to do is turn your morning around, Megan. We can do this for you. Boys, over to you. Oh, Megan. You've lost your balls. (laughs) They've all rolled out. I'm not sure why you're that upset. (laughs) Megan, are you a professional tennis player or something? (laughs) There's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world. And you've called a radio station to tell us that. (laughs) Well, we're here to tell you. It's really not that bad. (laughs) So stop complaining. Australian Open (laughs) I don't think so (laughs) Oh my god She doesn't deserve any more than that (laughs) (laughs) Ted, hit her with the line What a bag of balls (laughs) Or or, or, or the other one uh, also, <laughs> wait, 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 it was an uphill struggle this morning. No, Ted. Uh, no, Ted, the, the other. The future, remember? Oh. Megan, do you feel better? So much better. That was brilliant. Good, OK. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a treat. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's been odd. It's, and it's been taxing. Yeah. Mm. I feel emotionally and creatively drained. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I think he needs I, a rest. Um, he might need a I little siesta. writing but... songs is much more difficult than people think. Mm-hmm. And I hope that's proved it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you to do thing. today. <laughs> that proved that you're able to write a song about anything. It's what it proved. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you get over and show Mumford and Sons all the love in the world. Go over to BBC Radio 1, all the love in the world. All the links you need are right down there inside the description. Shout out to Yarun again for a fantastic little step away. Kind of a little laugh journey. Smash the like button if you liked it, the dislike button. But I won't believe you. Till the next one, I'm Miley Combustible. You guys be happy. Have the same. Love you to the moon and back. Peace.